Hey folks, I am the Lore Master's daughter and welcome to a beautiful day outside. You know one of the things that I miss about summer? Summer camp. This is one of the summer camps that I went to when I was a teen and I got a shirt like this every single year for going and they're not in business anymore sadly, but basically I miss it. And the thought occurred to me recently, I really want to go back and reread the Percy Jackson series because there's been new releases and I've been busy, but I started this channel. So I really want to get back to the Percy Jackson universe. Well, what better time than summer? Am I right? Camp Half-Blood, Camp Jupiter, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to put this out there into the universe. If anyone else is interested, I am thinking of doing a Rick Riordan universe readathon a riot-a-thon, if you will. So I'm thinking this would take place over the months of June, July, and August. Partly because those are the traditional months for summer camp, but also because, let's be honest, there's a lot of books to get through. I've thought of a couple of different ideas that could go into this because I'm really, really taking inspiration from book roasts, owl exams, and nude exams. So I thought, oh man, could you do something with like campers and counselors where, you know, camper is just getting through maybe the main 10 Percy Jackson books and the Trials of Apollo books, and maybe counselor is getting through all of the companion books as well as the Kane Chronicles and Magnus Chase. Maybe the campers are just the Rick Riordan books, but counselors are engaging in some of the folklore that inspired all of these works that he's written. Maybe we can do something with the Greeks versus the Romans versus the Egyptians versus the Norse. I've thought about, okay, if we do this as a multi-year thing and we try a bunch of different ideas like this, can you do something with the camp beads that they have at Camp Half-Blood where they had bracelets and necklaces and some other things that had one bead for each year, but the beads were always unique. So on a rolling basis, whenever you started, you could always have some kind of badge of honor for having completed it, kind of like NaNoWriMo. I even thought about uh, if any of you did these crafts as a kid where it was safety pins and you made like flags where it was one safety pin over and several down and you just strung beads on it to make a design. You could almost do that for the number of books that you read where you get five orange beads for completing the five original Percy Jackson books and five purple beads for completing the Heroes of Olympus. You get some gold beads for completing the Kane Chronicles and any of the crossover stories. You get silver beads for completing any of the Magnus Chase books and companion books. I've got so many ideas. Please tell me in the comments, number one, if you're even interested in doing this along with me, but number two, if you are interested, what kinds of things would you like to see as part of this riot-a-thon? Is June, July, and August just way too much of a stretch or does it sound exactly like the kind of thing that would work for a Rick Riordan inspired readathon? Either way, I think I'm gonna do it. Shout out to Emma Novella for helping me come up with Riordathon because otherwise I was just going to go with Riordash, but I like Riordathon a lot better. Thanks very much for listening and I'll chat with you in the comments. Take care.